Hello, beautiful peaches, and welcome to a Sailor Moon unboxing video. If you can believe it, yes, finally, I'm going to unbox two of my most anticipated items. It took me a while to get my hands on them, but I finally was able to acquire the Sailor Uranus Figure Arts Zero Figure. Wow, that looks uh, terrible in the box, uh, cause it's got all the kind of paper, the, uh, the plastic around it. Uh, and of course you have to unbox them together, right? Like you can't unbox them separately. <laughs> and the Sailor Neptune figure arts. All right, we are gonna start with uh, my favorite character in anything ever, not only Sailor Moon, but my favorite character of any franchise uh, in history, Sailor Uranus. Uh, what's really cool about, uh, about this is they have, um, both Uranus and Neptune, like their silhouettes on the bottom, which is pretty cool. Just a reminder to anybody who might be grabbing these figures or really any merchandise, um, anything that's made by like Bandai, um, make sure you are grabbing, uh, or make sure you look at this sticker. Um, if you see this sticker, sometimes it'll have a number indicating it's from a different region. Um, but it, as long as it has this uh, foil sticker, on the box, you know that it is an authentic uh, Sailor Moon item. The back of the box is gorgeous too, by the way. Check that out. All right, it is absolutely impossible for me to open the this kind of box without like bending a little part of it. Like it, it makes me so angry. All right, I open this from the bottom to keep the top a little bit more pristine. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, she's so gorgeous. The legs, legs for days on these Sailor Moon crystal figures. All right, so there's the figure herself. I love how they come on the stands already. Uh, there's like no assembly required, except for putting the uh, the talisman in their hands. All the outer senshi, of course, come with their talismans, which is amazing. Um, so there's, uh, we're gonna have to finagle that in there. But take a look at her herself. She's so gorgeous. She is gonna look so amazing next to Neptune. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Yes. These figures have a have a, like a, a glossy um, like a glossy finish to them, and I really like that. I've heard some people say they don't like that uh, too much, but I mean, it's Sailor Moon crystal. They're shiny. They're special. I I want this of like every character ever. The they're so beautiful. I really really love them. So in the pictures and on the box, it kind of looks like her her mouth is in like the tiniest little bit of a smirk, like, I mean, just slightly. Um, looking very up close, it looks more just like a very neutral expression um, on her, but that's gotta be like so extremely hard to, to come across like on an, like every individual figure. I don't know exactly how each individual one is painted, but um, she, I mean, it, it's, it's beautifully done. It's just the, she doesn't have that teeny, weeny, weeny, tiny little smirk. You know what I mean? So we also have, um, we have two options for the sword for Uranus, which is so cool. So there's her space sword from uh, the manga, and uh, it kind of looks like this in Sailor Moon Crystal as well. I guess kind of the, um, uh, the non-sheathed form is like this. And then you have the sheathed form, also what we're used to seeing more from the 90s anime. And what's interesting about this is they didn't, for some reason, they don't give you two complete swords. You can uh, very easily uh, pop the the blade off of that and put on uh, this one. There we go. It took me a second to remember whether the blade was like curved up and like this side. I still might have it wrong. I don't know. Does that look right? It only seems to want to go in one way. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna assume that this is the right way. So there you go. I think I'm gonna display it with with the blade rather than the sheath because it's just like it looks cooler. There it is. She looks amazing. I love how these figures have a lot of movement in them. Like even the uh, the collar on the back is like out. The the bow on the back is very like. There's a lot of it's very this. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of movement in it. Like it's not just hanging down. Like you see most uh, statues or figures. 
Um, the, the figure arts are like that, but it makes sense because they are posable and you can put them in any, any um, you know, situation, whether it be in action or not in action. Um, I, I personally love these more where they're not articulated, you can't move them wherever you want, but they're in these dynamic poses. I really think these are my favorite for sure. You can't have Sailor Uranus without Sailor Neptune. So next up, we're going to open Neptune. There she is in her box. There's the back of the box, of course, shows Uranus and Neptune on the back. And Neptune and Uranus on the bottom. And uh, the, she's definitely got the biggest box of all of the figure arts uh, because she's got the base that holds both Uranus and Neptune. That's why it shows them both on the back, which is so cool. Oh my God. I, I swear in the merchandise, they acknowledge Uranus and Neptune's relationship and, and that they're like meant to be together more than like anything like hardly more pretty much more than even in the anime itself because like they they'll sell their stuff together there's even a neptune and uranus um like a like an actual ring where it's like uh the neptune and uranus uh like the i think it's the the sword and the mirror are like intertwined with each other like oh my god you guys my heart there she comes Ooh. Unfortunately, like I said, all of the Outer Senshi figure arts, uh, Zero that I got, um, I, I didn't order them like when they were new, unfortunately, because I didn't know that they were limited edition and I didn't have the money at the time. Um, so uh, unfortunately, I had to buy most of them used, uh, but I got them right from Japan and they're always used very gently and everything's just, you know, it, it looks pretty much perfect. I think Neptune, though, here is the only one that was like mint because like, I think she was the only one that I actually got new, even though it was listed as used. Maybe it was like pre-owned, but they never opened it. So she is actually the one who is mint. And oh my God, she's gorgeous. Oh my God, her hair. I I love the effect. Again, this is something that not everybody loves um, where the hair starts out as opaque and then it goes uh, to like almost a translucent. I don't know how easy that is to see, but um, her hair is definitely like translucent towards the bottom. I love that effect. I think it's really cool. I'm not sure like, I'm not sure what it's uh, like, why the design decision uh, is like that, why they decided to do it like that. But I think it's just, it's it adds to some of the magic of it. I don't know, it's very beautiful. And again, the movements in this, the movement, like the, the pose is so dynamic. It's like, she's just standing there, but at the same time, there's wind in her hair. And like the bow is like up in the back. It's gorgeous, it's be so beautiful. Not quite as much movement on her skirt as uh, as on Uranus, but um, definitely the movement in the back. The bow is up. Look at her shoes. Her shoes are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She's like almost up on her tippy toes. She's so elegant. She's so elegant and beautiful. Here's the mirror. It's so small. I'm going to put it in her hands and then show you a close-up of the figure. It's so small. There she is with that little mischievous smirk on her face. You know what she's thinking about. You know who she's thinking about. <laughs> oh my god, I just, I, I love these two characters to death. And this video does like, oh, it's, it's, it does such a poor job of showing off the beauty of these figures in person. Like, I'm looking at it on the screen and I'm looking at it in person. And it is, it is so amazingly beautiful. Like, I, I can't describe to you how beautiful these figures are. Th this, this series is by far my favorite. And I cannot wait to get all... Nine Senshi. We need a Chibi Moon. We need a Chibi Moon. <laughs> and a Super Sailor Moon. Please, Super Sailor Moon figures like this, please. Um, I can't wait to get them all on, on the, the shelf together. I'm going to put them all right here. I got I to gotta space. I'm going to put them all right there. And uh, they're all going to be together. It's going to look so beautiful. All right, let's uh, get the, the base for the two of them and uh and put them both on the the co-base okay right off the bat something that's pretty cool is this uh this double base is it's a different color than the individual bases so it's it's like a combination of the two colors so you have the aqua for neptune the like 
navy bluish uh, for Uranus, and this is like somewhere in between, which, I mean, come on, how cool of a touch is that? Like, there was care put into designing these. The fact that there's a double base at all, like, shows how much care was put into this. Oh, these fit into the base so nicely. There's like no fighting with like the foot position. Ah, <laughs> you guys, you guys. This, this is, uh, this is the new best thing in my entire collection. I think it's going to be even greater than the Neptune and Uranus uh, lip rod proplicas that I have behind me. That's for another video. We're going to unbox those. I mean, this right here, like, I think I might cry because this is the ultimate representation of, like, I mean, I, I can't even describe to you how, like, when I was in high school, I discovered Sailor Moon was when I was 13. When I was in high school was the absolute height of my Sailor Moon obsession. Like, I mean, I don't know how I even, like, passed high school because my brain was nothing but Sailor Moon. And, like, above that was Neptune and Uranus. Like, there was Sailor Moon, and then there was Neptune and Uranus. Harukan Michiru. Like, there was nothing that I loved more in the universe <laughs> than these two characters and the love they share and their story and just everything about them. Like, I couldn't get enough fan fiction and fan art and re-watching the episodes that they're in and collecting images. And this was like in like the infancy of the internet too. Um, like, collecting everything I possibly could about these characters, and, like, they were my life. They, like, were my life when I was a teenager. And to, you know, it, it, it being, you know, 20 years later, basically, and finally having this kind of representation, I mean, I can't even tell you how, like, if I had this, if this these toys existed when I was a teenager, I, I can't even, like, my life would have been staring at these figures, like, no joke. Like, I would have just sat and stared at these for, like, weeks. <laughs> oh my god, so to, like, I, I want to go back and, like, tell my teenage self, like, how amazing <laughs> that 20 years later you will still be in love with Sailor Moon and you will be collecting things and you will get, like, the ultimate epitome of, like, your favorite characters that you obsessed over. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. I was thinking about, um, displaying them on their separate bases just so like the display is kind of even you know so it's like you know the five inner senshi and then like two outer senshi on one side two outer senshi on the other but seeing these two together on the same base is oh my god like how could you separate them how could you separate these like once you put them together you can't you can't this is i'm gonna cry this is so amazing <laughs> they're so gorgeous i can't get over it Wow. Oh my god. So these are going right on my shelf. I'm going to open Pluto and Saturn in the next video. Uh, and then I also have the Neptune and Uranus uh, lip rod proplicas that just came. So I am going to um, uh, open those as well in an unboxing video. I've got some like backlogged stuff that I need to unbox that's been like sitting around for like a year <laughs> that I haven't unboxed. Um, so I, I'm starting to get a little bit of a, uh, uh, an inspiration to start maybe, uh, making some more YouTube videos, even though, um, my, my job, my main focus, uh, is, is my Twitch channel and live streaming five days a week. But, um, but this kind of stuff I like doing in a YouTube video rather than like on stream where there's distractions. I can, I can just ap fully appreciate this and then I can go back and edit it for you guys and put it up on the channel and read your comments and it just they, it means so much to me and uh, it's it's a different thing it's a special thing you know um so yeah all right so look forward to uh saturn and pluto next i'm going to do them in one video and uh and then the lip rods and then i've got more unboxings um and eventually i am almost done like i wanted to do all these unboxings i'm almost done um i want to organize all of this all of this, and you, if you only watch me on YouTube, you probably see some new stuff um, among everything behind me. So um, I want to 
um, kind of get caught up with the unboxings, display everything, finish how I want to display everything, um, and then someday do uh, like a full collection um, uh, tour, I guess you could say, uh, which would be pretty cool, I think, to kind of just go through everything. <laughs> so there you go. There's Neptune and Uranus. They are beyond amazing. Uh, thank you guys for watching this unboxing. I hope that uh, you get a kick out of this as much as I do. And um, I will put some links down in the description. Uh, these are kind of hard to find, but there are places to find them. Um, and not going on Amazon and buying them for like $300 a piece, which, oh God, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll, I'll uh, try and help you guys and uh, link to some places uh, that uh, I'll, I'll show you to the place that I got these and uh, and some other resources to, to help the collect the other collectors out there. All right, guys, uh, like this video, subscribe, all that jazz, all that YouTube jazz. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more Sailor Moon videos for you soon. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.